Hi there, welcome to another Discworld <laughs> recording session. Uh, I did a little quick test, and I tried to use the, what was it, the real-time thing, what is it? Oh, on my desktop it says MMVC server whatever. Uh, let's see. Open file location. I think it's like the, the real time, the one that everybody t thought was pretty great. But I did a quick test of it and yeah, April sounded like she had a cold. So that might have been a lot of mages before. Now I'm using this called Go Real Time GUI. All right. <laughs> Yeah. Also, I'm using the Logitech headset now. <laughs> it tends to pick up a lot more of my breathing, but I'm a little bit lazy and don't want to plug in a bunch of stuff. All right. Oh, but focus on the game. Load a game. Which one is this? I did a practice round, and wow, I played like Act Two for an hour, and boy, it was long. Okay. Because I'm here, I'll grab up the hoops now. <laughs> Walks all the way over there just to grab the one all the way on the... He's grabbing them all up at once. I don't have to click on each and every single one. Uh, the Suffer Jester is over there to the right, but I don't think I need her just yet. I also have a... Uh, I'm using a walkthrough this time. Last time I did it mostly from memory and practice, but this time I got the walkthrough. Uh, I got it. Okay, there's Jelly Baby, 4X. I'm down the hole. Copter used to pick on the eyes. And the first thing I gotta do is I gotta track down where Death is at. And we got a little bit of a clue in the previous cutscene where he's wearing a core cat. Uh, let's see, we got a ship here now. Um, I don't want to spend a lot of time doing, talking to everybody. I'm gonna be following the script that I got. Oh, there's the, uh, the shop of shops. Let's see. Um, I need to go to the shades, talk to somebody. I need to get, there's like three things that are necessary in order to get the death certificate. Let's just leave him. Let's see if I, I keep forgetting. Uh, God, I got the hand. And the pick. Poor oh, cutscene. Probably no other world in the multiverse has warehouses for things which only exist in potentia. Here, however, the Pork Futures Warehouse is a product of the patricians' rules about baseless metaphors, the literal mindedness of citizens who assume that everything must exist somewhere, and the general thinness of reality around Ankh. The net result is that trading in Pork Futures, in Pork that doesn't exist yet, led to the building of the warehouse to store it until it does. The extremely low temperatures are caused by the imbalance in the temporal energy flow. Yeah. Uh, I recently watched a video. It was about... <coughs> oh, keep forgetting. Single click on luggage. And it was about onion futures and the market that happened, the market crash that happened from people, from a couple people trying to make themselves super duper filthy rich. They were successful. It was something about Onions and something else that's not allowed to be traded. Let's see. Down here. Uh, if I were to take time to talk to the ship, they would mention that they're picking up the dead. And take them somewhere. I'm, I'm trying to remember exactly how that... Hello again. Oh. 
He said... Yeah, he said, what are you doing standing about here all day when the cosmos is going down the privy? Hey, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Just fancy. 20 years of school and finally you've mastered the ability to talk to a rat. Your mother must be so very proud. If you ever had a mother. <laughs> so here's an army story from way back when. Um, there was some talk about us going to Haiti. And in order to do so, we had to get, um... Oh, shoot, I'm having a Tom Griswold moment here. Um, passports. We had to get passports, and... The guy had to order his birth certificate. And, well, <laughs> finally, uh, this guy got his birth certificate in. <laughs> kind of like Nobby. And, uh, yeah, we can prove that he was actually born and not hatched. Bring out your dead luxury post-mortem transportation services. Five-star service. Best cadaver relocation agency in Ankh-Morpork. Highly recommended service. Bring out your dead... Uh, let's see... Question icon. So, where do you transport your corpses? Oh, well, it used to be all mountains, you know, scenic locations. Very cold, you see, so the customers enjoyed it for longer before all their bits fell off. But you should see the place we've just found now, sir. Beaches, hats with corks, and blondes with these huge, straining, pink, oil-smeared... Yes, 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 but how do I get there? Well, you'd have to be dead, sir. We've got the entire season's passages already booked. Look, are you telling me that I have to be dead in order to qualify for tourist travel? Well, yes, sir, but it's a very reasonable option. We let you take all the luggage you want. Why is that? It's all classed as carrion baggage, sir. <laughs> um... That was just another little Undertaker's joke. It's a good thing you have a captive audience. Why not just tell me how to get to this holiday location of yours? Just a death certificate should do it, sir. It's the only way to tell these days. Got one, have you? Aha! Uh -huh. Is he hear that? Hats with corks. Yeah, that's one of the problems with some of these old games. You gotta talk to everybody on the first playthrough if you just don't know what's going on. How does one get to be declared dead round here? Simple, sir. Just lay down on that slab. When a cold mirror won't cloud with your body's breath and there's no detectable pulse, then we can safely declare the individual to have past beyond even if they're still walking and talking i've had to relax those criteria sir in the current situation it pays to be flexible in your definitions so here's where my thought pattern goes um i can see he's wearing an apron but it looks like he doesn't tie it around back so it just kind of like hangs loose a mirror Oh, he gave you handsome it. So it's Rekgar. Ba weep grana weep nanny bong. Worlds. Alright. If it's low body temperature he wants, then it's low body temperature he'll get. Okay. This should fool him. <laughs> Just slaps her. <laughs> um, look, I'm feeling a little bit dead. And so I thought I'd better just pop along and see you. Right. A uh, very wise decision, if I may say so, sir. Now, we'll do a few little standard tests. Firstly, I'll check your breath. See if it clouds up this mirror. 
Okay, now I'll check your arm for a pulse. Hmm, looking good so far, sir. Just one last test. Your body temperature. No, wait! Perhaps we can talk about this. Wonderful news, <laughs> sir. Wonderful news. Yes? Am I dead? As a doornail, sir. Finally, a satisfied customer at last. Now then, here's a death certificate, which also entitles you to cut price headstone carving, embalming, and free drinks at the yearly mortician's ball. Mortician's ball? Doesn't sound like much fun to me. Oh, you know, sir, once the old embalming fluid starts flowing, of course it kills you in the end, but what doesn't? Huh. Eh? Well, Her head is moving. Have a nice death. And please don't hesitate to call round again if there's anything I can do for you. Right, well, hop on, sir. We'll soon have you off to a post-mortem holiday. Did I tell you the one about the carrion luggage? Afraid so. Ah, well, can't win them all. Or any of them, come to think of it. You're being so loud in my ears. Shiver your timber, a vast improvement. Stop that. Oh, please. It's genuine nautical gibberish. No, I've told you about that. I'm only doing business with you if you stop all that ridiculous yo-ho-ho -ho business. It's demeaning. But it's establishing character. No, it's establishing that you are a loony. This is supposed to be a sea voyage, not Captain Sea Dog's little ship. Take me on a sea cruise. Club. Look, if we're going to sea, then we ought to establish ourselves as acceptable stereotypes of seagoing characters. It all stands to reason. Now, you can't hold me responsible for the paradigms which grip our customers. They expect this sort of thing, they don't think you're real. Without all that avast a main brace ah, business, word of mouth advertising can make or break a business like mine. Word of mouth? They're dead. Oh. Oh, all right. Just bring them on board then, and we'll forget all about it. Timbers hoist, hoist. locker, what? Uh, nothing. Just, um, <clears throat> clearing my throat. There's something very odd about you. We need to get a harumph out of him. As I were walking down Paradise Street, singing hey ho a blow the man down a saucy young cuttlefish i chanced there to meet oh give me some time to blow the sheep up damn i say any chance of a cup of tea my nautical arty well this is the milka that's the ghost of captain lavender beard back from davy jones's bathroom run for your lives Women and fearless sea dogs first. I miss Captain Dave. You know, I seem to meet more crazy people than sheer coincidence should allow. Anyway, it looks like I'm in control now. Robin Tom, it's Captain Dave. Hey, Captain Dave, how are you? Let me, let me uh, turn these seagulls down. Get, get away from these seagulls. Oh, yeah, crappy cup of cheese sandwiches. $15. Toys and 50s only. No change.
You! There you are! Bone idle, I see. Come on, get up and get back to work. It's chaos back there. No. I like it here. It's a land of opportunity. Sun, surf, and prawns. I can see the sun's giving you a nice bleach. Come on, we're going home. No, I'm not going back. I worked my fingers to the bone for them, but they all hate me. Hate you? What does that matter? You're death. You're not supposed to worry about things. You just... just happen. Well, I want more from life. A little bit of popularity. It's not too much to ask, is it? I work hard for everybody. Does anyone ever say thank you? I think not. Thank you for dying? Uh, look, if I promise you that I'll find a way of making you popular, will you come back? People will like me. You promise? Cross my heart and hope to meet you in your professional capacity. Now, is it a deal? Hmm. All right. But only if you make me feel wanted. I have just the thing to bring the message into the people's hearts and minds, my dear fellow. Tell me, have you ever heard of something called the clickies? A clicky, you say? Something to make a legendary figure more personally popular? That's a challenge and a half, that is. But nothing Unit's modern marketing up techniques in volume? can't handle. You just leave it to old Dibbler. All right, but I wanted to have integrity. Just make it nice. Nice? <laughs> that should be nice. I'll tell you what, I'll splice you in for half a take, but mind, I'm cutting my own throat. Now, tell me what talent you got lined up. This, uh, lead of yours. Nice, um, upper balcony, is she? Um, no. Oh, well, what a skinny one then, eh? Long and lean, eh? Whoa. Well, quite lean, yes. I got it then. I've got the angle. Works as a shipwright by day over at the docks. Sweat, 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 wood shavings, and torn, tight little shirt, and then dances in an exotic nightclub every evening. We clap a soundtrack on it, and we got a hit for sure. A shipwright who dances in a topless bar? What the hell do you take our audiences for? For about three groat a ticket, why? What's wrong? The formula's perfect. I'm just not so sure my principal lead is going to make a very convincing exotic dancer. I mean, sex-wise and all. You mean they're a man? Well, I suppose he's a man. It's hard to tell, really. You have to look at the pelvis, don't you? They keep you wizards indoors too long. That's your problem, mate. Look, I'll tell you what, we can sell anything, just as long as we have the right marketing. You know the product, so I'll leave all that with you. We need three things to make this a success. You've been waiting for this bit, haven't you? Just waiting for it. First and foremost, a gorgeous babe. That's just a pro forma for the press. Next, you need a really catchy jingle, a song we can clap into the soundtrack. Finally, we need the gimmicks, the novelty merchandise that actually creams the cake. Get me those three things, and I'll have a film out in no time. Collect a babe, a jingle, and some novelties. I don't suppose you'd consider collecting them yourself. Nah, mate. What sort of fool would waste his valuable leisure time voluntarily going off on annoying little quests set by stupid and ungrateful people, eh? <laughs> yes, he'd have to be some sort of idiot, wouldn't he? Oh, well, see you in a little while, then. <laughs> Take axe, open door, kill dragon. Why wasn't I born in the days of text adventures? Death, old chap, we are going to make you a star. Okay, according to the walkthrough, um, let's see. Get this way back, white, <laughs> right back here. All right. Are you kidding? Why would I want a bed and stick? Grubs, mate. You what? Grubs. Witchetty grubs. A bonza feed. Mmm. You can just smell them on the barbie now, eh? Come on. The cost's only three bits, and at this price, I'm cutting me own didgeridoo. 
No, look, I don't want to eat any insect larva today, thank you. Could be the mistake of your life, mate. Mm-mm-mm. They're yummy. Ugh. Grubs? Ugh, they smell awful. You'd be really grateful for a feed of these if you were lost in the desert, mate. A good advert for buying a map, I feel. Are you sure you live here? You seem awfully familiar to me. Sure as a platypus is an egg-laying mammal. Now, can I interest you in any quality Dinka merchandise, mate? Picnic hampers? Hats with corks? How's about a nice bent stick? I've got a lovely line in those. No, now look, why don't you sell anything useful? Useful? It's all useful. See? Here, best thing for that? Take a couple of raw insect larvae, cures it like magic. Like magic? Well, if it cures it, it'll be magic. Come on, mate. Two for the price of one. I'm cutting me own bludger. Go away. <laughs> I'd better ask Dibjula first. <laughs> Talking to Dibza, Dib, Dib, Dibula like that, huh? <coughs> May always makes you wonder, why don't the strike would just speak with accents? This picnic hamper, it's not filled with bugs or anything, is it? Nah, mate. I charge extra for the bugs. It's a bargain. I'll give you the handle for free, but I'm cutting me own billabong. <laughs> That all I need there. The jelly baby, yep. <laughs> well, they actually have him walk out instead of, um, having to stand there. Gerbils, always one. Prime racing gerbils, rented to you at lowest cost. Gerbils? Those look like camels. No, 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 Offendi. These are gerbils, desert-dwelling rodents. Very fine, very cheap. Look, I'm telling you that these are not gerbils. Do these gerbils of yours eat cheese? Run about in little wheels? Make nests out of old tissues and cotton wool? No, Offendi. So what makes you think that these creatures are gerbils? They burrow. Really? All of them? Yes. Well, no. Nah, uh, not all of them. Well, none. Really. Right. Well, I might be interested in renting one of the non burrowing ones, then. Indeed, indeed. Please feel free to browse. <laughs> Gerbils, huh? Totoko Mamaru Hamutaro. Totoko Mamaru Ho. Ah. Hemutaro. Let us for now establish that these are camels. This being so, how much to rent one for a brief journey? Five dinar offendi. Hmm. And to buy? Five dinar offendi. Why are they the same to rent as to buy? I cannot spare the noise they make as they sit in their wood shavings eating cheese. Now look, I thought we had that settled. Oh, all right. Five dinar then. But only if you invest some of it in professional psychiatric treatment. No. Um, what was that one? Ah, oh, there's Rince Wind. Cause it's the old Stan Freeberg bit I have. It's it's this guy who um I'm trying to remember what it was. The guy thinks he's a dog. But it was also a joke about, yeah, the horse. Yeah, that's right. The horse thought he was a chicken. You can already guess the, the yeah, punchline to that. Hi, ho, Leghorn! Away! Oh, yes. Very nice. Yes, yes. Nah, I don't like it. Oh, no, it's awful. You know what that needs? It needs a good gelding. Quite right. Whip him off and we'll soon see a difference. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. yes, yes. Time was they'd only let real men in here. They'll let any old rubbish in these days. 
Yes, 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 yes. Mystic temptresses of the East. Not quite as I imagined them, actually. So why do they get such good press? I suppose they must have a good publicity machine. Yeah, no, you can't steal the ladder for some weird reason. Good place to pause for a break. See you next week.